Uh, my name is uh, Matt Ford. I'm the president of Zazu Metals Corporation. Our ticker is ZAZ on Toronto, and we've got a uh, large zinc property up in northwest Alaska, right adjacent to Red Dog, uh, which is owned by Tech. Our flagship property is the Lick property. We've only got one property in the, co in the company. Uh, it's a very large zinc deposit, as I say, adjacent to the Red Dog mine, which has been one of the world's largest producers of zinc for the last 25 years um, in northwest Alaska. Uh, the deposit itself is divided up into uh, two, key, uh, two deposit zones, they're contigu contiguous. The first one is Lick South, which is open pitable and runs about 20 million tonnes, uh, 8% zinc, which is a very high grade for an open pit mine. And the northern extension is Lick North, and that's another 5 million tonnes at slightly higher grade. So this is a zinc focused um, uh, deposit which is unusual because most zinc deposits are either copper with some zinc or lead with some zinc, but we are really primarily three to one zinc to lead. Alaska is a great jurisdiction for mining, period. Uh, they, Alaska is a very resource-focused economy. Uh, mining, uh, fishing and uh, lumber are three of the largest industries up in Alaska. The, political climate in Alaska is very, very positive towards mining. Uh, they recognize the needs for mining, so consequently the governor, Sean Parnell, developed his Road to Resources program uh, a couple of years ago to enable uh, mining companies to, and resource companies in general actually, to develop their projects in Alaska relatively quickly. Um, last year, we, had the, uh, we were able to successfully collapse all our federal claims into a single state claim now. So the vast majority of our permitting is going to be by, done by the state of Alaska, which is tremendous news because, as I say, they're very positive on mining. They want to see mining developed, and they've set up this program to essentially hold your hand through the, uh, through the permitting process. So we believe that's going to enable us to get permitted substantially faster than we would do in other areas. The key reason I think uh, investors should be looking at uh, zinc companies and uh, Zazu in particular of course mm -hmm. is that uh, the profile for zinc going forward is very very favourable for the investor. There, there's, it's now quite widely acknowledged that there is going to be a deficit uh, for zinc uh, which is opening in 2013 right now and we're looking at about 15 percent of the world supply going offline as existing mines become exhausted over the next three to four years there are very very few projects out there that could conceivably replace that lost production and we're looking at a global economy that as it starts to improve requires more zinc zinc is an absolutely essential metal if you want a car or if you want a house, or if you want a skyscraper. So it's essential for economic development and is as say, absolutely necessary. There is no real substitution for it. As we look at demand increasing, we're also being faced with this supply shortfall, hence the outlook for zinc is extremely positive. So we believe the zinc market in general is headed towards a, uh, uh, certainly heading towards a, a, a better period and uh, Zazu is one of the well-positioned companies with a great asset. 2013 in the zinc market in general is going to be dominated by zinc. This is the start year for this, before a, uh, for a gap forming between supply and demand. As these mines close, the deficit is going to start to open. That's starting now to be exaggerated or continue in 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. So the big catalyst, I think, for anybody who's involved in the zinc space is zinc and how that starts to get received by the market. For Zazu ourselves, um, we are doing an awful lot of work on the property. We're right on the, on the, sort of foot on the cusp of entering a permitting phase. We have got, as I say, a very large asset that is um, has no obvious impediment to production. So we are going to be pushing that thing forward. And as, uh, as interest grows in the zinc market, you're going to see a lot of interest in, in uh, zinc-related companies, Zazu in particular, of course. The main thing, and the thing that we've always argued, is that maintaining your cash position 
pushing the property forward whilst maintaining your cash position has been key. There's, we've, while gold has just entered into perhaps a, a tough market over the last year or two, zinc has been in a tough market since uh, the recession of 2008. So for the last four years we've been facing what has been quite a, quite a tough market in that there's a lack of interest in the metal and we have got through that by very cautiously managing our money and very specifically uh, focusing on ways of advancing the property as cost effectively as possible. Uh, we, I think we've done that very well and I think that's a, that's a good rule of thumb for both uh, CEOs in uh, the resource industry and investors as well. Look for the companies that are managing their cash, managing it effectively while still pushing their property forward and uh, can hold on to that brighter day. Thank you.